You're watching Simulated Sessions. My name is Maggie and I'm here with Wazza. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Sick name. Yeah, well, it's, it's, a, it's a nickname to yeah. hide my real name. <laughs> yeah. Your name Warren is not that bad. Yeah, you don't meet many Maltese people named Warren. No. Uh, yeah, it's How a, did that come about? Uh, I was named after the man that gave birth to me, the doctor. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, I think he was Fijian. Oh, nice. Fiji, you don't find many Fijian Warrens Maybe. either. <laughs> Maybe it was like passing down of like yeah. difficult names mm. for different nationalities. Just Bridging the gap, maybe that was it. Yeah, w uh, once uh, a while ago, uh, I used to play in bands and yeah. at this really dodgy rehearsal studio, yeah. this guy goes to me, oh, so you're the guy with a rabbit up his ass. And it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, oh, okay, yeah, Warren, rabbit sleeping oh, in a Warren. Oh, so, okay, yeah. oh, that's a bit rude. Though. Yeah, <laughs> but it was that type of rehearsal studio yeah, environment, yeah, yeah, like of giving out like alcohol to underage yeah. kids and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which we do not condone, by yeah. the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you just released the single, Spread yes. a Little Love. Yes, I did. It's very like storytelling, like very cinematic. Mm -hmm. It's not just proper beats. Like you do your own, right? Yes. Uh, well, yeah, to answer uh, the first part of the question, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very kind of storytelling. Mm -hmm. um, uh, last year I released a, a mixtape called Love is a Battlefield mm -hmm. and I narrated it through audio from this old love movie from oh, the yeah. 50s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by doing so, I didn't really know what I was doing. I was kind mm -hmm. of like making up a signature sound for myself, even though that style has been done a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, But I, I found I was incorporating it a lot and a lot of people started commenting on that from the okay. reviews and stuff yeah, yeah, and they're, yeah. they're kind of telling me that was my signature sound like yeah, even yeah. though I, I didn't choose it yeah they kind of chose it for me and mm -hmm. um and then when i came time to writing some new stuff yeah i you know i went completely in a, a different other direction and then i was thinking ah you know if they like that style yeah you know stick just write it out for a bit longer yeah. and so that's why i kind of kept that uh formula with mm -hmm. uh spread a little love and yeah. the other two singles on the release as well yeah yeah. So how does the process work? Do you think of a story first and then the beats or the beats and then it becomes a story? Uh, yeah, it starts with the beat okay. and then I find audio that matches the beat, like yeah. the, 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 the tone of the voice mm -hmm. to match the, um, the tone of the instruments. Yeah, um, yeah I, I hope for the best when I write a song. Like yeah. I start with an idea and just yeah. hope it all kind of uh, ends up you know, yeah. sounding great in the end. And, yeah. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't work that way. Sometimes mm -hmm. it happens, you know, real, you know, real instant lightning bolt type yeah, idea. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like sometimes it takes forever. Like at the moment, I'm, I'm working on this one song and mm -hmm. I've been working on it for about three weeks. Okay. So, yeah, it takes yeah. a while. Yeah, of yeah. course. So this is the first part of a three-part series that you're going to release? Yeah, yeah, uh, under the Art and Technique sessions. Yeah. Um, I was going to release a full EP, but, uh -huh. uh, you know, in this type of environment that we live in, being an independent artist, yeah. you know, there's a lot of factors, time, yeah. money. Yeah, of course. And um, so it, it just seemed more uh, feasible just to release three of the best songs that I had off the EP yeah. and, um, and stretch it out, just to kind of build up momentum around my name as yeah, well as an artist. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, Spread a Little Love was the first yeah. one, yeah. Okay. And it, obviously there seems to be a theme going on with your music, right? Yeah. Love theme? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on there? Yeah, it's, it's funny. <laughs> when I was younger, when I, was, when I first got into music, I yeah. just really loved love songs. Yeah? Yeah. Who would you listen to? What would I listen to? Yeah, like your favourite love songs <laughs> oh, you would listen man. to when your heart was broken. What would oh, you wow, 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 wow. Boys yeah. to Men? No, 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 no. I had, a bit, had, I had, a, I had a bit more taste. On, nah, oh, boys and men are cool. They're cool. Nah, that wasn't. I remember that time when that yeah. song came out in the nineties. No, no, no. I was more a little bit um, different. Um, like more like songs like Cindy Lauper, Time After Time, oh, okay. and uh, classics. Yeah, yeah. Dry, uh, Drive by the Cars mm -hmm. and stuff. Uh, what else? Just yeah, like a lot of. Uh, classic 80s songs and then also as well like when I was younger I was heaped into punk music and oh, okay. and that and there was a certain era of punk that was a very love based as well mm -hmm. and um, so yeah I was always into love songs and then as I got older I kind of got out got a got over it and stuff yeah. mm -hmm. I guess like the people in bands didn't want to yeah. be writing love songs as much yeah. as I did so I kind of forgot about it which was yeah. a good thing and yeah. then um, yeah I forgot about it for many years and started writing some heavier music yeah. and, and other kinds of music and mm -hmm. um, and uh, last year I became a solo artist mm -hmm. and you know I was kind of like finding myself again and when I was younger being in bands music was very exciting yeah. and mm -hmm. 
and discovering new music and I thought I'd lost that and yeah. um, and then last year I discovered that again and I was okay. happy being you know an artist you know living in this time and mm -hmm. so yeah and, and that just came naturally as well yeah. wanting to uh, relate stuff to love again and okay. yeah so that's that's the theme and yeah and, and, and romantic no, nah, uh, yeah, like yeah. It's just, I, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm a musician, I yeah. have feelings, you know oh, what I mean, so, I won't, yeah, that's how musos, <laughs> yeah. it's all off emotions and yeah, feelings and stuff, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. it's like positive, love. like you, like your music is very positive love, it's not, it doesn't sound too, yeah, you know. Yeah, heartbreak. No, yeah. it's not like the what what you mostly hear about is the heartbreak, kind of yeah. sad kind of love. But yeah, yeah, yeah. When a little love, it's it's different. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and um, and I didn't even uh, I won't I won't say it actually. I just like when you listen to you, when you listen, I, I didn't even realize it myself. Yeah. When you listen to the three songs mm -hmm. from start to finish, they yeah. they tell a story. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and yeah, um, yeah I'll let, I'll let the people figure yeah. it out. Because yeah. it's really interesting because you, you're, not, you're not an MC. No. You, you don't sing or nothing. No. But when you do listen to your music, there's a story. Yeah. There's a certain kind of art towards that. Yeah, exactly right. Like mm. That's why I, I named this release Art and Technique, yeah. you know, because I'm making art and mm -hmm. I'm using my techniques, um, you mm -hmm. know, to put it together. Uh, but there is, like, I do sample vocals um, yeah. on this track. Mm -hmm. My friend Arno Olsen, yeah. uh, you know, he, he you know, came to my, uh, my house and, mm -hmm. in my little studio, yeah, yeah. recorded the vocals and stuff. You know, we didn't really have an idea and I just, yeah. and he went away and I just cut up uh, bits okay. and pieces yeah, and, yeah, you yeah. know, that, that's how the song so built started. as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so okay. I, I, I compensate without the, the rapper yeah. and I just have other elements. Course. Yeah. Oh, good. And it's quite interesting, obviously, to see like as a performer. So how how does it work? Live, yeah, it's kind of like the DJ scenario, but uh -huh. um, it's different. Whereas like DJs play other people's music, I'm mm -hmm. playing my own music. Mm -hmm. So I have a laptop, uh, a launch pad, mm -hmm. and a and a machine like a drum machine. Yeah. And so like I have the instrumentals uh, ready to go on my laptop. Mm -hmm. And then I have sample banks of all sounds and stuff, and I control them with my controllers. Okay. So like I tap out certain parts of the yeah. song. Like yeah. most of the time, I'm tapping out the vocals okay. or the bass line. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I keep 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 it interesting. Yeah. And um, it all it all flows like a DJ set yeah. would. Like uh, I was here, I actually played at Play Bar on mm -hmm. Friday, mm -hmm. and the DJ on before me was playing yeah. a lot of funk and stuff. Yeah. And, and I'm thinking, oh, and like the way that I had my set ready to go, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, oh, this ain't gonna work. I yeah. really need to uh, cater for the crowd. Yeah, of course. Which is like, you know, a really main, uh, a, a good trait of a good DJ. You gotta, yeah, you gotta yeah. play to the crowd. You Definitely. can't just please yourself. Yeah, Everyone will just leave. Definitely. So I was really mindful of that, and I just had to quickly, on the fly, just pick random songs uh -huh. that would just kind of ease the crowd yeah, out yeah. of the DJ into me. Yeah. And then I slowly, you know, went into the, the natural set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's it's interesting. Like, so, like yeah, I never, that's... so it's kind of half, half beats, like. Like live production. Yeah, much, half right? live, half DJing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah which is cool. It's different for me as well. Yeah, I never definitely. thought I'd ever do that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because I've always played instruments yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. And because you used to be in like a hip hop band as well that supported quite, Quite a lot of hip hop. Yeah, I, I used to be in the Have Nots. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I used to uh, make the music for that, play all the instruments, mm -hmm. and when we play live, we have yeah. um, an MC, yeah. uh, a DJ, and I used mm -hmm. to play live bass. But yeah, I, I, I love both experiences. Yeah. I love playing in bands mm -hmm. and doing what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's music is a, a mystery, you know what yeah, I mean? Definitely. It's um, And it's this evolving thing, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't stop. Yeah, of know? course. But I, I, I do play. Uh, an old group I'm in, I was in, we uh -huh. kind of reformed again. We've been doing some okay. shows. Oh, nice. Yeah, um, called Two Toes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to be, be doing our other show uh, this year. We did um, did our first show in like seven years uh, at the oh, beginning wow. of this year. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. so that's going to be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's fun. It's it's yeah. it's cool playing yeah. with other people. Yeah, of course. Because when, you, when you're by yourself, you kind of become your own worst enemy yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So do you know the date of when your next release will be? Yeah, um, <laughs> you know what, uh, like everyone else, you yeah. know, you don't want to put a date on things yeah. because mm -hmm. you don't want to hold yourself to it. Is the track done or are you still, uh, all still the, working on it? All the, all the songs are done, mm -hmm. all the three are done, I'm just, just uh, spacing it out. Yeah. Um, probably the next one maybe, what month are we in now? It's, in it's, uh, eight March? It's March. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. April, May, June, yeah. maybe, yeah, somewhere between May and June, yeah, possibly. Yeah, in a few, soon. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I just like the plan is I want to I want to uh, stretch it out. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to release something and then go away for a year. Yeah, yeah. Because you lose momentum and people forget okay. about you. Yeah. So of I just want to just keep it rolling and yeah. then eventually after when I release the third single, mm -hmm. you know, I want to have something else ready to go. Yeah, next yeah, project yeah. Yeah, definitely. That I'm working on. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming in. No worries. Thank it's you. Pleasure talking to you. Really thank excited. You. Like your music's actually really, really interesting. Uh, the, way, the way that it all works, it's really like artistic. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's. That's what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Nice. You're watching Simulated Sessions. My name's Maggie. The entertainment is done.